sing yeah. the praises of Aaron DeMac <laughs> when we get there. Um, but we're going to go to Bean and Romola. So chip in a, a, to Testament. Yeah, and, 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 and Chono Nomo in the chat, if you actually have the ability to buff Potemkin, please do. I would appreciate it very, very much. <laughs> <laughs> but here comes Bean with a strong start, and again, I mean, I, I, I'm just such a Bean fan. I, I'm always cheering for this guy, top eight at Evo, you know, just always, just, I love watching his chip so much. But also at the same time, though, Testament is not a character you see a lot, and Romola is one of the uh, big Testament believers, so at the same time, I want to see Romola do well also. So again, this is another one of those matchups where like, can everybody win, please? <laughs> I know. Can we just have like the happy rainbow cloud championship where everybody's a winner? <laughs> That's what we'll, we'll do our own series and we'll have it beat the rainbow happy cloud cotton candy championship. But right yeah, now, exactly. there's no rainbow, there's no happiness, there's a scythe made out of blood and demons and a guy with an otter. There was a succubus over there. It made a heart. There's some love in here, right? There's some, uh, some love and joy. It might not be genuine, but you know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh my goodness. Romola has not had an opportunity to play the game at all. But we get Dota Mazeki twice in, in a game and that always makes me happy. Character ...and prove everybody wrong. Like, no, this character is still clearly very good. And if this plays out in a very specific way, we could have Bean and Marvello face off against each other and that would just make my night. But we'll <laughs> have to get several, several rounds down the bracket for that. Um... But right now, Bean has that stain stain on them, so they're going to have a little bit more tracking for a bit. Yeah, it does burst. That was a very aggressive attack after that burst, though, which I like because the aggression is one of Chip's main, like, selling points. Yeah, but I love the way that Rumble's been able to control that space, but as I say that, Bean just got in there and, yeah, tries to go for the wake-up super. I mean, that's the kind of... That kind of gives you the mindset of Romola and Testament players when Chip gets in. It's just like, I hate this. I hate life. Let me just try to get out of this with the super. Unfortunately, did not work. Bean was able to bait it. And now Bean is uh, one round away from taking it to zero, going up to the zero, I should say. So hate life. I was like, oh, so you've seen me play against these characters. I see. <laughs> uh, really oh, strong are you a testament start. Player? Are you a testament player, Jaylen? No, I'm a biking oh, okay. player. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, but look at this. Nice. Okay. Okay. Finishes it with the eggs of beast. That was a really nice round from Romola, really showing the strengths of that character. But Bean, like you said, really had this outstanding performance during their Evo run and has continued to impress, especially their confirms are so clean. Their routing is so precise and you just see that and you can't help but respect it. Yeah, and remember Bean was the player that did eliminate Umi Show from Frosty Faustings. And, right. You know, again, we were talking about this. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Romola should be able to kill. Oh, no, wait, no, never mind. No, I was looking no, no, at the no. wrong health. I was looking I, at the I wrong health. I thought the same thing. <laughs> Okay, but still a ton of damage, and now actually will be able to get the kill. Okay, <gasps> oh, wasn't that from burst the combo. Was, yeah, burst getting was in there risky. with the slash. It was at an offline Frosty Fausting, so I think that's why Umi Show has added that May to uh, her game. I yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I like that there was something that pushed Umi Show to make changes because I think that makes you better at the game in general. Mm -hmm. Bean, however, did not like that they just went down against Romola and is coming back with a very angry vengeance. And unfortunately, the Romola, Romola is so calm and collected and is so cool with the way that she plays and really nice PRC to get out of trouble. And the teleport too, such sneaky aggression. Oh, but then uh, you talk to anybody who hates Chip and what are they gonna talk about? That jumpy. <laughs> Oh, get hit by that jump D, you get hit by a counter hit on that thing, and then Chip suddenly has like 19 years to finish the combo, and yeah, it's such a great button to have. Oh yeah, it's it's so good. And now with the changes that Chip has to the um, the horizontal alpha blades as well, that came with the patch in December, it's just like, I think all the Chip players were like, yay, rejoice, one of my best buttons is better. <laughs> and yeah, here we go, the mix, the mix. 
and you know the weakness of Testament and so many characters in this game. Not a lot of great ways to get out of pressure, but look at this. The Exit Beast right now causing trouble. What a PRC! What a beautiful reaction from Romola, yeah. Normally you can't burst, obviously, when someone activates a super, but that's only if you're already in hit stun. And obviously Romola was still in neutral, so easy escape for her. That was so smart. The awareness that Romola has. Now, I know we were talking about historical context from other Guilty Gears, like with Pepper, Splash, and Tashi. But you have to remember, Romola has been playing Guilty Gear for a very, very, very long time and is incredibly aware of the system mechanics, not just from this game, but from a long line of Guilty Gears. And you can see the way she plays <gasps> is just detrimental. Yeah, again, just see matches. Everybody can go down. I'm going to take down Bean right now. I... That is the thing, is that this... Series E is just, then as with every Series E, it's wild. You never know what's going to happen. And it can go any which way. The RC from Bean, but the, the, the kick did not connect, and that could have been a big combo, and unfortunately, it isn't. And then Ramol, that gives Ramola the opportunity. Oh my god, that counter hit, though. Yeah, Bean, again, one of Bean's most powerful skills is just the ability for him to find the whiffs and sneak in and even get some punishes as well but I, I've described Bean's style as like a yo-yo so much you know he just attacks and then he'll back off and then attack and then back off but you know I think that Aww. lack of over aggression is what makes Bean such a strong chip player I agree and especially because you expect that aggression out of a chip but really great confirms they're from Romola. Romola understands the spacing of Testament so excellently. The throw into the RC, I was like, if you're not going to get the death off of the wall splat, <laughs> the wall is certainly going to help you. And now, Romola one away from moving on in the bracket. Yeah, uh, we saw Romola there with the anti-air cancelled into the teleport. I had forgotten the succubus was even there, and it literally teleported Testament right there for that killing throw sequence there. So again, beautiful awareness by Romola. She can take it right here with just one hit, and you see the range of Testament coming into play. Stay! Yeah. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Right, nice. Oh, no, it wasn't nice. I like the idea from being with the RC, but Romola saved that burst exactly for that yeah. point. The succubi are there. What's gonna ha- Oh, my God. You're just- I mean, Ping pong ball. Such an excellent job from Romola. You know, I mean, with modern fighting games, we have been losing the art of zoning.